hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we successfully edit our all of the images and now the time is to separate our our this theme and use this for the different pages so now let's go to our project and this one contain this auth to blade dot to php and i'm going to do one step here so i'm going to just to uh, add this uh, into this uh, blade i want to add this top bar and sidebar and footer i don't want to add this here into this blade so i want to create a new i want to create a new blade file and into this i want to load this out so now let's go here and let's close this layout and in the views i want to create an auth directory so i want to locate all of my auth files into this auth and here i'm going to create a dashboard where i'm going to place my dashboard files dashboard.blade.php okay so here now i'm going to extend this layout right so let me uh, type this correctly extend right but first question arise that we need to first clear the existing one right so now let's go to this auth.blade and here i'm going to cut this everything i'm going to cut this content from this theme so let's search this for the dashboard okay updated dashboard so let me find this overview okay overview okay it would be i think like this basic ui this would be a sidebar and after this sidebar this would be overview and after this overview you go back progress and yes weekly sales hmm recent ticket is uh, where it is it's pointing out this one weekly order weekly sales weekly sales overview and dashboard so here this one would be the main content so let me uh, cut this out main panel here so here i'm going to cut this out right so let's save this one and what it's going to display us so it's going to cut all of the things because we uh, cut this out so let's take eye on this how it's look like okay that's great and uh, everything will be uh, will be gone from there because we cut this out so now question arise that how we can reuse this for all of the ones so uh, top bar sidebar and stuff like that so now uh, here i'm going to in the dashboard i'm going to paste this out right but i'm going to paste this into the section right so let me paste this out to section i'm going to do everything with the step by step so i can add the extend layout to extend blade directive but i'm not going to extend this out first first i'm going to explain the explain this uh, section how it's rendering and then i'm going to extend this blade so end section and here i'm going to paste my all code right so now your question arise that um, we save this into the dashboard so it's not going to load this out so how we can load this so now let's go to this uh, web.php file and now i'm going to open this uh, on this auth.blade.php right so dashboard dashboard okay save this one and uh, yes now it's locating this out and if i get refresh so it's going to display nothing why it's displaying nothing because this uh, content is also not displaying here oh why i cut this footer out so let me go back uh, move this back footer but we will do this uh, after a few moment so here we cut this out and edit this content here right so we need to add uh, the sidebar and top bar here so how we can add this so we are not going to add this include this we are going to extend this auth plate and then we want to render this section into this uh, uh, into this place this partial dot main dot end right now let's go here go to this dashboard and here i'm going to extend this out 
okay let's cut this out here i'm going to use the extend property if this extend is used for extending any of the layouts so i uh, type here layouts dot auth right and then here uh, now this dashboard will be rendered here so let's uh, take eye on this why oh, it's not refresh okay purple admin so it means that now our dashboard is there right so it's uh, not to uh, executing this through sections if i cut this out it will be still visible why because we added this uh, we are extending this layout so it will uh, pull all of the things from this auth and it is playing it here right so now question arises that how we can render the content into it so we need to add this uh, section like we added this out so let me uh, uh, let me roll back and this section is there so we need to render this section into the main blade because this is the dashboard we are extending we are not including this out so we need to render this content into this blade so now let's open this blade and here we uh, cut this out everything right so we need to add a yield directive here so this would be a yield and in the yield you need to add the section name content right why i did this content because this referencing this uh, uh, referencing this section so our this section will be rendered here at the yield place here so we can render all of the files into the master file and uh, we don't need to include this into the every project and here mm, let's get refresh why it's not displaying this out okay wait for a moment and yes but it's not displaying this out so let me figure out that what's the issue uh, content and oh i forgot to save this out so now let's save this one and it's going to reload this again and render this section into this uh, master blade so we can say that it's a master blade and we are uh, we are saving all of our we are rendering all of our child into the master blade and yes now this dashboard is also visible so we can add any of the content here but uh, you can reuse this sidebar top bar and stuff like that right but this is a little bit confusing right so some are uh, maybe confused that how you are doing this so i'm going to create one more file and then tell you that how it's going to work so it's i'm going to do the similar step again for the new page so how you can create this other page so here i'm going to create uh, i'm going to add this profile dot blade dot php right and here i'm going to extend this out extend and what i'm going to extend i'm going to extend the layout dot art not dashboard right so it's going to extend the dashboard and then here i'm going to add a section and you can add the content right because we are already yielding this into the master blade so we need to add this content here and this section and here oops so here you need to render your content so i am from profile page right so save this one and let's go to the web page and here i'm going to open this so uh, profile blade profile and uh, let's uh, take eye on this so it's going to open the top bar sidebar and uh, it will also add this content i am profile blade it's going to display us this one and uh, wait for a moment and it's loading the previous one so let's uh, refresh it again because we added this uh, later when it's refreshing it's during the process that's why it's not refreshed th th this properly okay and yes now it's rendering this i am from the profile page so here you can render your own stuff that uh, you can create the profile page into this master blade so in this way so you can render these things into the master blade so now queries comes that how we can render uh, this page uh, this page style sheet and javascript files 
so because we don't want to add this into the master blade because every every file contain different uh, different uh, styling and different javascript so how you can add this into this profile blade so i will tell you in the next video so stay connected and i will meet you in the next one and if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and share your thought that uh, how you like this video and uh, uh, also suggest to your friends if they are interested in this series so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye